First on five, a mobile man charged in a high profile shooting reached a plea deal, cutting down his time behind bars. Angelo Parnell pleaded guilty to three counts of attempted murder for the 2019 shooting at Lad People Stadium. Nine people were injured when shots were fired at a high school football game. Parnell will get credit for the two and a half years he's already served in jail, meaning he'll be released from prison in 2024. The Mobile County District Attorney was frustrated at the outcome of that case, telling WKRG News 5 this is what happens when no one comes forward speaking about what happened. Today, victims' families, police, and city leaders joined together to mark National Crime Victims' Rights Week. News 5's Nicolette Schleisman joins us in the studio now. And Nicolette, one of the speakers had a message that was right in line with what the DA is talking about. Yeah, that's right. So one mother who lost her son told the crowd, if you hear or see something, it's okay to say something about it. And she hopes that that will help other victims' families. We're here for you. Mobile police and victims' families walking together to raise awareness for victims' rights. Nigel Hill joined this year, still mourning her son, who was killed by gun violence. I'm still trying to learn how to live without my son. Her son, 16-year-old Chavan Scruggs, was shot and killed on Allison Street last September. A 15-year-old was arrested for the crime. Just ask that, you know, we stop this gun violence. You know, it's just senseless. It's just senseless to have lost my 16 year old son. She says she's already frustrated with the process to get justice for her son. I'm very upset that the process is taking two to three years. You know, I have a problem with that. I have a problem with them being able to make bun. She's urging people to come forward and share what they know. This is especially relevant after the Mobile County District Attorney expressed her frustration that the man accused of shooting nine people at a high school football game will be out on the streets in two years, saying this is what happens when no one comes forward with information about what happened, something the Mobile Police Department agrees with. We also want the community to know, though, when witnesses are willing to come forward, victims are willing to stand there in the gap and proceed through that process, we do get heavier sentences, which ultimately deters crime down the road. But Hill wants to make sure no other parent has to deal with the pain she's experienced. It could very be your loved one that can lose their life that day. So you need to speak up. And Mobia police are also sharing their message to end gun violence, which is it takes all of us. Live in the studio, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.